Okay, I wanted to do a quick follow-up video on MacBerry Pi on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I did a video yesterday on it and uh, I didn't have a lot of time and there's a few things that I've uh, played around with today that I wanted to show. Uh, so to enable them, you first have to open a terminal and type in ARM HF. So let's do that. Now I can minimize that and go into the Finder and Applications and then uh, in the wine folder we've got Mac OS 7 uh, which is a 1991 operating system way before I used a Mac uh, and uh, this basically boots up the full version of Mac OS 7 with some programs and things on there so it's a virtual machine and uh, works surprisingly well so if I go to special clean up desktop eject disk restart shutdown uh, we've got edit select all and so on. We can create a new folder, find items. Uh, if we go on the Apple, you can see we've got alarm clock, video player, CD player. I haven't got a CD play plugged into this at the moment. Uh, jigsaw puzzle. I couldn't work out what the jigsaw puzzle was because all it did, seems to do is show you a map of the world. Uh, and I couldn't, there didn't seem to be anything to be able to do. Um, so let's minimize that or close that down. So, and the way it works is you press and hold. So if I press and hold on the Apple and then it's when I release is when it selects it. So it's obviously an older way of doing things. Uh, disk copy, import, stickies. And there is uh, SimCity 2000. Oh, I've just opened up Notepad by accident. There is SimCity 2000 on here. Yeah, there are instructions in the folder, read me first. And one of them says never read me. So uh, let's not read that. So if I want to shut that down, press and hold, go down to shut down and release the left mouse button. And it closes the virtual machine. The other bit I really wanted to show, and uh, I've kind of covered this with Phoenix OS, which is the first I saw uh, with this Compiz window manager. So if I click on that, and this enables various different effects. Uh, so if we go down, uh, Desktop Cube is one of the ones I particularly like. Uh, so if I do control alt and down you can see that I can switch between my open windows so if we were to switch to uh, this window and then maybe start up the calendar and then switch to the next window and let's just put notes on there so if we go down and go back to that original one and we can do things like uh, if we go to effects we've got 3d windows uh, so if I do control alt and left mouse button I can drag and you see I've got a cube and you can move this around so as I say if you see my Phoenix OS video it shows this uh, as well running in various different operating systems but it's it's such a cool window switcher maybe not that practical uh, but I do enjoy just playing around with it uh, it is definitely something a little different uh, so other buttons I found so control alt down was to switch between the various desktops uh, then we've got control alt and left mouse button which enables this cube feature uh, to allow you to select whichever desktop you're on. I also found some uh, interesting effects uh, and I don't know when you'd particularly use these but uh, shift and F9 is a water effect and you can see it's almost like it's raining on your screen. Uh, but you can also add to that with some fire so windows shift and left mouse button enables you to draw fire on your desktop and I found that I couldn't switch these off so if I press shift F9 uh, it doesn't disable the water effect so what you have to do is just click on the window underneath and it gets a bit more hard to read but you can see that one is paint and that one's water effect and that turns off those effects okay so I just wanted to show these there are loads of things in this compass uh, that you can play around with and add and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something a little different. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.